Alexander the Great of Greece directed his conquests solely toward the Orient, leaving the Italian peninsula unconquered. As Alexander's empire expanded to the eastern Mediterranean shores, Mediterranean trade flourished, bringing prosperity to Rome, which was situated in the west. Similarly, Carthage, located in the western Mediterranean, also thrived due to Mediterranean trade, developing on par with Rome. With Rome and Carthage both advancing in the western half of the Mediterranean, their interests eventually clashed, leading to a series of wars in the 3rd century BC. Known as the Punic Wars, these conflicts lasted for nearly 100 years, ultimately resulting in a Roman victory. After the Punic Wars, Rome effectively monopolized Mediterranean trade. Rome astutely managed this trade by allowing free trade activities to all, regardless of race, as long as taxes were paid to Rome. Merchant status and property were also protected by various laws. In contrast, Alexander the Great and his successors in the East did not offer such generous business opportunities. As mentioned in previous videos, the Greek Hellenistic forces were fundamentally military groups, and could not match Rome's wise vision of promoting commercial activities through legal systems, as capable individuals moved westward to Rome. The Mediterranean trade scene saw the emergence of numerous ventures. Additionally, Rome prioritized the development of roads and ports, quickly building a distribution network. The ample taxes collected facilitated investment and loans, enabling the rapid completion of these projects. With its growing power, Rome eventually subdued the Greek Hellenistic forces in the eastern Mediterranean, and came to dominate the entire Mediterranean region.